Hello and welcome to another Dragon Ball Fighters video. Today, TGN Anime presents a character profile for Tian Shinhan. Tian can dish out some serious damage, but that can also come at the cost of his own health or his best buddy Chiaotzu. He's a character that constantly balances risk and reward, but hopefully in this video you'll learn how to reap the rewards without much of a risk. Now usually I'd talk about some of his unique normals, but his normals are pretty standard. Most of your conventional combos will work with Tien without a problem, but if you want to make the most out of Tien, you'll learn how to use these standard normals in combination with some of his unique special attacks. So let's start simple as usual with the Don Don Ray quarter circle forward and the special button. This works both on the ground or in the air and it's your standard full screen horizontal key wave, your go to zoning option. And this is also his attack when he is in the assist position. Next up, Chiao Tzu comes in and traps the opponent with his telekinesis, quarter circle backwards and the special button. This only works while on the ground. And if you land one of Tian's supers, you'll actually lose this ability for the rest of the match, but we'll talk more about that when we get to his supers. For this move, Tian calls in Chiao Tzu and he will stun the opponent for a very short time, no matter where he is on on the screen. To avoid this move, the opponent really needs to block or hit Tien before it connects. No amount of moving around the screen will make you dodge this move. And because it is so powerful, Tien can do this move only twice. Because the third time he does it, Xiao Tzu will not perform it. He'll show up on the opposite side of the screen and whiff it. But after that, it starts working again. It goes stun stun, whiff, stun stun, whiff and so on. Next up we have the Volleyball Fist with quarter circle forward and an attack button. This move is different depending on whether you do it on the ground or in the air. While on the ground you can follow up the initial motion with other inputs and it also has three different phases like Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist or Vegeta's Super Dash Kick but the different inputs don't change this attack that much so it's a bit easier to understand. The Light Attack version has the fastest initiation. The Medium Attack version actually initiates with a block. If Tian is attacked during that initial stance he'll block an attack so this can be used as a counter. And the heavy attack version is a command grab at the cost of one bar of meter. And this one you can't really follow up with other inputs because Tien will automatically play this whole animation. And at the end he puts the enemy into a hard knockdown state, allowing you to follow up with a super. If you initiate the light or medium attack versions, you can spend some meter in the follow up attacks if you press the heavy attack button. The first follow up with the heavy attack button will throw the opponent higher in the air. And the second follow up will make sure you put them into a hard knockdown state. This is important to keep in mind because you don't always need to execute all three inputs. You can cancel into something else if you want to. But if you do want to land the three hits, it's worth pointing out that if you hit the last attack with precise timing, you'll deal a little bit more damage. That's why Tien flashes in the final attack, to indicate the optimal timing of that button press. Now in the air, this move is a bit simpler. Tien just does the last attack and spikes the opponent back to the ground. The light attack version is faster, the medium attack puts the opponent into a hard knockdown state, and the heavy attack is both fast and puts the opponent into a hard knockdown at the cost of one bar of meter. And our final special move for Tien is the crane strike with quarter circle backwards and an attack button. This works both on the ground and in the air. It's like a dive kick with the light attack version being faster, the medium attack putting the enemy into hard knockdown and the heavy attack being the best of both worlds costing one bar of meter. As far as supers go, Tien's got three of them. A level one, a level three and another level three you can actually extend spending all seven bars. His first level one is the tri beam with quarter circle forward and the right bumper or trigger. This works both on the ground or in the air. Tien will throw this key blast downwards but it will not only cost him a bar of meter, it will also cost him a bit of health. And this health that you lose with this super does not become blue health, so you cannot recover it. And no, Tien cannot kill himself with this move, in case you were curious about that. His level 3 is pretty similar, the Neo Tri-Beam with quarter circle backwards and the right bumper. It also works both on the ground or in the air, but the main difference with this one, besides costing 3 bars of meter and dealing more damage, is the fact that you can extend it for as long as you have meter. You can spend all 7 bars if you want to. Now do keep in mind that Tien will lose a ton of health if you do this and once again this health does not turn into blue health so that HP is gone for good. Also Tien can only extend the super for as long as he has health. You may have 7 bars of meter but if his health runs out he'll stop extending the super. If he's down to 1 point of HP you can still do his level 3 but you will not be able to extend it beyond that. But Tien has another level 3 and this is the only one of his supers that doesn't cost him any health. It does come with a different cost which is his dear friend Chiaotzu. Farewell Tien with 
with power circle backwards and the right trigger. Xiaotu flies in from the opposite side of the screen, grabbing the opponent and blowing up. If the move misses, you may attempt it again, but if you succeed, you'll lose access to the super because Xiaotu is gone. And that means you also won't be able to use this telekinesis move that we talked about earlier in the video. This move can only be performed while Tian is on the ground, but Xiaotu will always fly to the opponent's position. Even if he is in the air, it is possible to dodge this, but Xiaotu tracks the enemy pretty well. And it's also worth mentioning that this move is completely unblockable. If you want to dodge it while on the ground, you can react by crouching and Xiaotu will completely miss. But if you're in the air, it can be really tough. Even Gohan, who has a fast descent move, cannot dodge this on reaction. If he happens to be going downwards already, Xiaotu will miss. But if he reacts after the level 3, there's no time. And if this lands on Gohan, it will land pretty much on any character. So yeah, recommendation, use this while the opponent is in the air. It's very hard for them to avoid it. As far as auto combos go, when you match the light attack button, he does this. And when you match the medium attack button, he does this. And now that we know his moves, here are some tips on how to play him. Tian can deal a lot of damage even without spending any of the meter. The light attack version of the volleyball fist can be easily incorporated into ground combos, and because it deals good damage, means that if you can extend a combo using an assist after the volleyball fist, you're looking at some good damage without any meter spent. Plus, while in the air, Tian can end combos with a down heavy followed by the medium version of the volleyball fist, allowing him to have an extra heavy attack and a special attack while in the air, which is something a lot of characters cannot. And the medium attack version of the volleyball fist puts the opponent into a hard knockdown state. All of that together gives you over 5000 points of damage without spending a single bar of meter and what's better is, if you want to, you can spend meter afterwards for even more damage. Though Tien's suicidal tendencies with a Neo Tribeam will put him into a very delicate position if you decide to throw a super. And for this reason, Tien is more of a finisher. He comes in, spends the meter and his health to eliminate a character. I'd recommend avoiding his supers, especially his level 3 super, if you're not finishing a character off. He deals insane damage, but the cost is also super high as well. And that can leave you vulnerable if you're not finishing a character off. You can lose more health extending his level 3 than the damage you deal to the opponent. And the damage you deal to the opponent converts into blue health, so the opponent can recover it, while you, you're screwed. That health is gone. Of course you can also finish an opponent with Farewell Tien, but in my opinion, Telekinesis is really good, and it's kind of a bummer to lose it early in a match. So I would personally stay away from using this super in the beginning of any match. You can use telekinesis to cover for a super dash to initiate combos. It's got a long animation so savvy players will be able to react with a block, but it does cover the entire screen. All you have to do is aim for that opening. Now if you're dealing with spammers or aggressive players, the medium attack version of the volleyball fist is also really good because it blocks the first attack and you can go into that whole combo that we talked about earlier. And don't forget the heavy attack version is also a command grab in case you're the one putting pressure on your opponent and they're being way too defensive with blocking. He's a great finisher and also at dealing tons of damage damage even without using meter, but if you're reckless with that meter, that might cost you the character for sure. Thank you for watching another character profile in Dragon Ball Fighters. I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors. Liquid Jetta pulled off this combo yesterday. I knew he was a Tien player from our most recent game night on PS4. So I told him, hey, try this out. And a couple of minutes later, he was sending me this video. And I, I can't help but feel so proud that he was able to get it so fast. Hope you can take this into some competitive matches later, buddy. If you want to become a sponsor just like Liquid Jetta, link in the description down below. Join us on Discord for game nights and exclusive content. In the meantime, if you want to check out a breakdown for any other character, like the playlist up there. If you're in the mood for something else, check out the video at the bottom. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy!